Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graphics. On this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to do the page curl effect in Photoshop. Yes. So let's just go to our Photoshop and let's see what we can do without wasting much of our time. Yes, to uh, just waste much of time without any problem. So this part, this is my Photoshop, and I'm just going to pick that particular this thing, that particular image that I'm going to use to do the page curl effect this is my image and that is what i'm going to do you get that so first of all what i need to do over here is that is to duplicate it by ctrl g and then when i duplicate it by ctrl g the next thing i'm going to do is to go and pick my rectangular marquee tool over here then doing the page curl effect in photoshop you need to decide how many uh, let's say how many space you have to use to do that either it should be big or small how you want it to to be done you get that you may use a4 you may use anything to do that you may use your design to do that but on this particular tutorial i am I, I am just going to show you using this particular image of that particular laptop you get that yes so first of all i pick my this tool over there rectangular tool over here then what i need to do over here is that i'm just going to select some parts that i want that particular uh side to to look that care you know like it has curved in a way be with everything you get that yes so when i selected somewhere like this i can say it's okay but someone may decide to select from here to here that one too is cool it depends on you how you want it to be and you can also select at this side too that one too is cool anywhere you do your selection is cool depending on how you want it you get that yes so on this particular distance i'm going to select place like this over here just like that then after i did that i've selected something like this over here the next thing i'm going to do is to go and pick my gradient tool over here then i want to pick the gradient tool i'll come and select the color i'll select black and white you get that i'll select black and white you can also decide to use any kind of uh, gradient two or three gradient on how just on how you want it to be you get that but for this particular tutorial sake i'm just going to use black and white you get that so when i'm using black and white it tells me that black is first and then the last one is what white so to get my page curl good effect to get that particular effect good i have to start from here then i'm just going to drag it to the end here just like that i'll just click at the starting point then i drop it at the what the ending point just like this and as you can see that is how it will look like you get that then when you have something like this and uh, you have draw that particular uh, this ingredient on that particular uh, rectangular marquee tool shape all what you need to do is to type ctrl d to deselect what you have just done you get that then when that one is done the next thing to do is that you have to type ctrl t that transformation to transform then you right click and click warp then when you click warp that is what you have but because we want this site to have that uh, curl effect what we need to do is that you just have to hold shift then you come and start from here then you move your distance you move it like this like this like you know whilst moving you have to take your time and you have to watch how the thing is moving you get that so that you won't have any problem in that something like this will be okay for me then you can also decide to move the distance a little bit and then move this plate to a little bit you know depending on how you want it to be and if that is okay then you click enter or you just type enter or you come and click on this particular sign over there you get that then when what that is done that is what you have it's the page that the, the, that particular page uh, the tip of the page has curved in a way that and even curved with what with um that kind of shadows in it you get that yes so then after that when you have something like that you can also decide that let me have it something like that and then you can also put up a color in there any kind of color you prefer you can also put that particular color in there then you go to fx then you go to drop shadow that is where you drop some shadow down there that looks so realistic for you you get that then you can have it just like that 
and then you can check on and and then you increase your size a little bit then you can have it just like that you get that yes so that is how it's going to look like that is how the, the page curl is being designed uh in photoshop you get that so this particular effect how to make this particular effect a uh, page curl effect is very easy and it doesn't need more stress you get that now i just want us to remove this thing then we redo it again so that you can see the actual effect that i'm just talking about now we have something like this over here we are going to use this one now i'm coming to pick my gradient tool then over here i'm just going to select it up then over here i'll draw up the page curl then i can have it somewhere like this you get that then i deselect it by ctrl d or you go to select then you deselect fine then the next thing you need to do is that you have to type ctrl t to what to select it or to do the transformation to to to, to activate the transformation distance guidelines then you right click then go to warp then when you go to warp the next thing you need to do is to hold your shift and then move it just like that move it just like that you can keep moving but as we are keep moving you have to check whether that particular uh, the back of that particular page two is coming out you get that so you have to check if that one two is coming out then you have to go back a little bit then over display you can use it to correct those side that that is appearing then you just have to do that and then cover it then you have it just like that that looks so beautiful you get that so over this particular this one i can decide that let me add a sorry i've select uh, okay let me duplicate another one and then the down one i am just going to add a gradient map uh, uh, sorry i'm just going to blur it like this and then it will appear as how the other one has just appeared you get that so checking on this particular distance this is how you this is how it's going to look like and this is the page curl effect that's how we normally do it in photoshop it has been done with abn graphics thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics and have a nice day bye